Well, hello everybody, Nana here. I thought I'd read you a little story today. Just adjust that a little bit, there we go. And it's about a very large cat called Dave. Not Lolly, Dave. And your granddad's called Dave, isn't he? But he's not a cat. Now, Dave gets inside and outside of his house through a little cat flap, which is a little hole in the door. June, you'll know about that, won't you? Let's see what happened to Dave. There we go. Dave was big. He is a big cat, isn't he? And quite fantastic. Even the mouse, I think, likes the look of Dave. He's a huge cat, isn't he? And not only was Dave huge, but so were his dinners. Look how much he's eating for his dinner. Oh my goodness, the bowl is absolutely brimming with food. Lots of different colours of cat biscuits he's got. Looks tasty, doesn't it? So he's going to eat it all up. And after his enormous breakfast, Dave headed outside for a little snooze in the sun. He's a bit tired now. So he pushed his head through the cat flap to go outside. Placed one paw in front of the other, but he couldn't move. His head had gone through, but he was now, what? Stuck. So he's got his head and his paws outside, but his bottom and his tail is still inside the house. He's stuck in the hole. <laughs> Hi there sniggered a bug. He thinks it's very funny to see Dave stuck in the hole. You'll never guess what's happened to Dave, the bug said to the dog. He's stuck. The dog told the caterpillar. <laughs> the caterpillar told the birds. Oh, you'll never guess Dave's stuck in the hole. The birds told the squirrels, oh, they laughed. The squirrels told the hedgehog, ha, 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 ha. and soon everyone in the garden knew. Oh, poor Dave, oh no, how embarrassing. He doesn't look very happy to be stuck in the door, does he? Meow, how embarrassing. Well, the animals got together and decided to help Dave and set him free. Dog thought he could scare him free. Woof, 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 woof. And Dave was scared. He does look scared, doesn't he? Woo, meow, meow, meow. But he was also still stuck in the hole. It didn't work. The animals wondered if they could tempt Dave out with tasty treats. Come on, Dave, come out here for this tasty bit of sweets. Oh, yum, yum, yum. They've got acorns and cheese and apple and some honey. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And a big, big worm like the birds would eat. But worms, mm, definitely not Dave's idea of a tasty treat. No, thank you. I'm not sure I'd like to eat a worm either. They even tried to tickle Dave out of the hole. <laughs> Look, they're using a flower to tickle him, but it was no good. He was still stuck. Suddenly, the bug had a bright idea. Look at them trying to tickle him with a feather. <laughs> Let's feed him beans, baked beans in tomato sauce. It was a strange plan, but Dave opened his mouth as the animals catapulted beans into its mouth, one after the other. Boing, 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 look, they're flicking them into his mouth with a spoon. Dave liked this game a lot. I bet he did. He likes beans. Do you like beans? I do. Dave caught more beans and more beans and more beans until, now do you know what beans make you do? Dave shook. 
The ground shook. Something very big was about to happen. Five, four, three, two, one. Beans give you windy pops. Blast off! And look what's happened to him. He's gone. <laughs> And he's done such a big windy pop, he's blasted himself out of the hole. It was a long walk home for Dave, but when he finally got home, all the way to the town over there, boy, was he hungry. He's going to eat some more food. He's going to get stuck in that hole again, isn't he? I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't eat too many.